Good morning, this is Mike Palmer from Mike Palmer Homes. We're very pleased to bring you the video walkthrough of this house that's just been completed. Uh, we've... We're really excited to bring you this video of a house we just got completed. We have been doing a number of these, they're very much in vogue. We call this a modern farmhouse. It has that farmhouse style, um, but brought to current day. Look at that. I want to discuss some of the features here. You've got decorative metal roof called a standing seam roof. We've got some de decorative metal roof accents there and on the garage. What's unique about this house, it's the first time we've done this, but there's a actually a one car garage up top and that's kind of the hers garage. So you pull in, pull in the garage and then there's a double garage down below. There's all sorts of features inside this house. I'm going to start with the outside. Uh, a number of things we did, we did coach lights next to the windows. Actually, I say we, this is all, this is all a customer's choice. They were in on the design and they came up with all the colors. And I got to say, my opinion is they knocked it out of the park. This is a really unique and nice looking house. Um, let me talk about some of the details. They did this very unique stone here, a black slate stone. We've got black win windows. Anderson, they're a composite window. We've got black metal roof accents. We've got black corbels underneath the overhangs. Did you see those? Uh, let's see, with the tapered columns in the front. Um, up top, they did that. You see, there's Hershey. There's Hershey the dog. He came all the way from the West Coast just to be on this house. Anyway, that's a cool detail. Anyway, um, we've got a mahogany front door painted black we've got round gutters now you can also go with the round gutter pan but that's uh that's a little more expensive but you kind of get the same effect by going with the downspouts back here we have a two-car garage underneath in the basement the walkout basement you've got oh this is actually lake view property you can see lake norman over there uh, we've got retaining wall here we're going to we're probably going to pardon, probably give a stucco look over all of that um, so that you could have a, a garage in the basement. And that garage goes the, the, inside the basement. There's a big garage there and a big workshop. And that's the, his garage. So he can come down here with his truck, tools, boat, etc. cetera. Uh, in the back, when we go inside, we'll show you that is a pretty spectacular porch built up there. And they've got underneath there, they did some patio work. We also had to do a retaining wall over there to you know make the grade work out right. Anyway, once again, get your black windows going into your basement workshop as you walk out basement. Anyway, that's it for the backyard. Um, that's how the house lays out, and you'll see it on the inside. It really is unique. This is a version of what we call the Verano plan. Um, they kind of preserve the features of the master bath and the great room living room, but the, the, the extra bedrooms and everything, they made it, redesigned it and made it really unique. So let's go take a look inside. On the front porch, you can see the stone steps, match foundation, we've got a random pattern flagstone, concrete front porch, and they've got a really the hurricane fixture. Anyway, we have a pine beadboard ceiling, but they painted it this really nice shade of gray, which is the first time they've done that. And we have a couple of can lights with the black Anderson windows. Anyway, this front door, it's got Flemish glass and it's actually, it's a mahogany door, but it's, uh, it's, it's painted black with a gloss coat. And we have stairs inside are done the same. So it's all to match the windows. And you'll see once you get in, it's really, really cool. Um, and we did a slage. A uh, customer picked out a computerized keypad for your front door, which works on the key as well. Now, when you come inside this house, things you get a view right out in the screen porch. And when the leaves are down, you can see Lake Norman from there. But this is all very open. You've got that really nice transom window up top for natural light. Now, a few things strike you when you come in the house. One, we've got the openness. And this is... This beautiful floor, this is actually a luxury vinyl plank, but it, uh, you can see, um, they've come a long way. Um, 
in the years and it's a real popular product but they did this stone really unique stone fireplace with a cedar mantle and they did cedar beams now they left these cedar beams natural so they'll just naturally uh, darken and shade over time um, but they did cedar beam accent and look at that aeronautical theme propeller propeller ceiling fan that's a cool feature and you'll see a number of those through this house anyway with our office over here you've got double barn doors with glass opening um, the trim is craftsman style trim with wings, uh, craftsman style wainscoting trim. Now on the windows, I did craftsman style trim as well, but you can see that's your traditional craftsman where it just kind of comes out, sticks out an inch over, over the, the individual legs. You've got a one by four legs and a one by six, we call it one by six header up top. And once again, you know, these really unique aeronautical themed uh, ceiling fans. Um, also the light fixture, the chandelier and the light fixture. You gotta admit, that is a really unique choice. Actually, I love the choices that these clients made. We've got Cove Crown, and that often uh, goes with the Craftsman style trim that a lot of our customers are enjoying. Now you see from the front window, see the nice green grass in the front, right out to the back, you've got that screen porch, that great big deck, and then through the trees is Lake Norman. Now if you come out to the back porch, well, just revisit. You've got, it's like a built-in counter there. And they've got a technology port there and one above the fireplace so they can do either. With that stone fireplace. And when you come out to the rear porch, they did an LVT floor here on the covered portion. They're going to be putting a phantom screen, which is a screen product with a motorized screen that comes up and down there. We just left them the pocket for it. And then we've got a PVC deck with a powder-coated aluminum rail. Again, I don't know if you can see it. It's dusk. I don't know if you can see Lake Norman out there. Anyway, and that's a great view of her backyard. Down there, there's a retaining wall. If you see the way the grade comes, it would be about impossible to make that grade work around here. So we built this retaining wall, and it's going to be parched um, with like a stucco coating way down here. And when the grass is starting to come in nicely here, just planted in springtime. And there's the back where our septic field is. Now, if you look at this porch from back here, you look at that gable detail. That is something that's some beautiful work our good friends over at Lawrence and Carpentry did when they did the siding. We've got black columns here, and there's your outdoor stone fireplace. And it's got a leaf blower on top of the mantelpiece, but they did a gray stone mantelpiece with a white slate stone. And that's a stainless steel exterior rated fireplace. You see up in the ceiling, they did built-in speakers and they got four can lights. And what I love here, another great choice by our clients, is this, that's almost like that helicopter, helicopter blade style fan. And that just, to me, that, that just really sets off this porch. The grays and the blacks and the whites all, all go nicely together, along with our natural, natural colored uh, knotty pine uh, ceiling, beadboard ceiling, and you notice this, this ceiling is cathedral, so you've got a lot of height in here. So, it's that way. There's our kitchen, but first we're gonna go into the master suite. Here's your entrance to the master suite. Master bedroom, once again, that fan is spinning, that nice propeller, propeller theme fan. Got a window seat in here. And if you've seen any of my videos, you know how much we like our window seats. But in here, it's like an away space. You got views of the woods left and right. You have view of the lake. Um, we've got outlets on either side with USB ports. So you can charge your iPhone or iPad or whatever you're working with. And we got crown mold and a can light up in the ceiling. So this window seat is almost like an away space. And it's almost like a separate room, but not quite. Um, where the master bed goes, okay, hold on here. Here's a door out here so you can see the fireplace. You've got all that ambiance from your master bedroom. And uh, we've got that transom window up over the, uh, up over the, 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 master, the headboard and the, and the master's uh, bed would go there. You've got uh, outlets on either side, one in the middle. And you've got to each one, his and hers switches for the lights right above the bed. Uh, reading light above each bed. Now, 
you're gonna you're probably have to put some sort of blind over over each window so you can close it off but you can always get natural light from your transom window up above and i did that on another house and it kind of caught on a lot of a lot of our customers have chosen it this house was based on a house we built called the verano plan um, they took the master suite but they they've really made this house unique and changed it a lot with our design people um, this master suite okay that shower there, we kind of call it car wash style shower, shower, shower excuse me, because you can come in one side and out the other. Um, you've got his and hers entrances to the master closet, which I'll show you in a moment. And this here is like a makeup station or it's got a knee space for a chair and drawers on either side. And plenty of outlets for you know, whatever appliances you want to plug in. And you've got his and hers sinks. Look at the choice they made. That is a beautiful faucet, in my opinion. The way the lights are set in the mirror, that is unique. We turn this way, or we kind of have a, a, a star pattern of our lights. Up here we've got two, and then speakers. We've got sound for uh, sound, and there is our zero entry shower. Now there's no curb down here, nothing to trip over. We've got a mosaic uh, tile, all goes down to the drain. We've got a chrome wand. Shower head, rain head. You've got your hot and hot cold there, and you've got a diverter valve for your other for your uh, main shower and your rain head. Now these, you notice this is a glass tile. You've got his and hers niches, small and large, on either side. That's really nice because from the main bathroom, we like the glass so you can see all that nice pretty tile work and the his and hers niches. That's where you put your shampoo. And there's nothing pretty about a used shampoo bottle, but that kind of hides all that mess from plain view. You only see it when you're in the shower. And look at that glass tile done on a, on a herringbone pattern. That kind of almost from a distance gives it that waterfall effect. So this came out to be a really, really cool and unique shower. We go into master closet. You got his and hers. It's not true his and hers. It's the same closet, but each one has a side. Now these are custom shells. Um, the wire shelves are more economical, but they're not really as nice. They have lots of cubbies here. They've got chrome rods, high and low shelves. Um, over here, this is angled, so this is a shoe rack. So you put lots of different, lots of different shoes. Once again, and you can use these shelves. You can use them for linens and clothes and whatnot. And there's lots of room in here. And put an outlet there so they can put an island in the middle. There's holes for the medicine cabinets. Oh, you notice the doors? It's a unique door. It's a three panel craftsman style shaker door with three even, even panels. And that's a master suite. Look at this wonderful tile work. My good friends over at the Tile Authority did a great job for us. Okay. But uh, you're not gonna see too many, too many master suites like this. This is really unique. Here, okay, let's go look at our kitchen. To take a look at this light here. So I've got seated glass and Edison, Edison bulbs, and that's your main fixture over the dining table. Um, they added on the kitchen, they added this whole section of cabinet, so it almost works like a buffet table, but that's really nice for family gatherings. When the table gets full, you can put all sorts of food and different dishes up on there and get it out off the table. You've got wine racks, custom wine racks, seated glass on either one of the either side of the uh, seated glass is these little air bubbles in the glass style glass and you've got you've got that area there you've got slots for wine glasses and wine racks left and right of, of that you've got uh, there's a range hood so got protection over that gas uh, gas cooktop oh it's a nice big gas cooktop you've got this uh herringbone tile that's called crackle because there's all those little little cracks in there and it's a, like a subway tile on a herringbone pattern um, you look at this, uh, look at this countertop, look at the veins in there. That is just gorgeous countertop. And you've got, it's kind of a 60-40 his and hers, kind of, it's not quite a farm sink, but it kind of has that effect because it's nice and big, but you do have two sinks and two chambers with that custom, I like the choice, the faucets. And sprayer comes out. Soap dispenser and there's an air switch for your disposal. You've got a double oven. Slot for the refrigerator, and once again, seated glass and Edison bulbs in here. 
Now, I don't like those big cloud fixtures, so we do like a star pattern in the, in the kitchen, like a pattern of can lights. And of course, they've got sound. So you see this whole open area. Your back porch goes to your foyer. You've got visuals from your office. Oh, the pantry. There's a lot of stuff in here stored in the pantry at present, and paint and whatnot, but you can see that's custom shelving in the pantry as well. Much nicer than wire shelves, however, and once again, people have to hand make them, so there are some more labor costs in there. Um, this, you gotta think about this area. This comes in from the garage. There's an upper and lower garage. The upper garage is for her car. All right, that goes out to the driveway. You come in, here's a drop zone. We call this a drop zone because it's where you drop all your belongings, obviously. But it's got cubbies above, cubbies below. Got a utility closet here. Laundry room has some really cool features. You look at that herringbone tile pattern. That is a beautiful tile. Um, once again, they've got a lot of cabinets in here with a leather granite. Another utility sink in the laundry room, which is nice. And instead of putting the garage fridge in the garage, they put the second fridge here. Here's your powder room. Powder room's unique, very unique. Got pendant lights with seated glass. It's got a mosaic tile against the wall. You've got a vessel sink, wood top, and a decorative black peat trap and tile down below under the sink. Um, this is pretty much a one of a kind, one of a kind powder room. Lots of pocket doors. In the back bedrooms, this kind of looks out over the garage, but you got a main view out here. And I can see some of Lake Norman through the trees. Uh, and there's another bedroom back here. So they will go in there in a moment, but they've got a Jack and Jill bathroom, which is something I really like. You got a sink here, sink, faucet, and look at that light fixture. Once again, with Edison bulb, I love that light fixture. Um, and then you've got the other sink here, completing the Jack and Jill. Now, this here has, in the middle is a commode and the tub shower. This tub shower, they did a subway tile surround. Nice gray color to match. And you know, look at that bypass door. That's a really pretty door. Bedroom three is back here. One window there. It's again, the black Anderson windows. Um, with a view out. And here are the stairs to the basement. Now, what's unique here is they went with that whole black theme to go to the black windows. These are oak stairs. They're finished. It's a two-part process with a gloss finish. The landing. That is a very unique set of oak steps. Look at the shine on that rail. Anyway, this is a, just a small area of finished basement. They have one back storage room here. A general utility room could be have a lot of uses, the space over here, and they have a full bath down here as well. This fiberglass shower. And another vanity. All granite tops, we still got some finishing work going on here. Um, a small cubby for storage. Here is the garage. This is the workshop garage. There we are. It's got six lights and a ton of room. Tons and tons of room. Um, two big windows, so you can get all that natural light. There's your big oversized garage door. I'll show you the back part. Now this back here is the workshop. Lots of unique features here. There's a door out to the back, windows, there's your retaining wall. This area is obviously unfinished, um, but we put some conduits in because he's got some certain equipment. He wanted to lay it out a certain way, so we've got conduit run for electric wires. So he can get connected the way he wants. There's your well and hot water heater and utility, but what we have here is, it's locked up right now, but this is the safe room. 
right here. We've done some other safe room. You can see that's a vault style door. That's actually a concrete room under here. So you've got lots of protection for any belongings you may want. Um, can serve as a hurricane room, disaster room, or just uh, safe storage. And we had another customer, not this customer, but he had some antique guns. So we built him a safe room. And, uh, you know, it would, it, to buy safes for that, you know, we were able to build him a room in the house for just about the same price. And you have a utility sink over here and room for an extra washer and dryer down below. Anyway, that's pretty much concludes a tour of this house. This house is absolutely spectacular in my opinion. Um, Got to thank my team and the uh, clients because they did a great job of the design and the execution. And I couldn't be more pleased. So I'm going to walk with you one more trip up to the exit so you can get one more feel of this house. This actually was a modification. Uh, we had a plant called the Verano, and this is a, a, a different version of it. The customers actually customized it. So it's really the great room and great room office and master bath. It's kind of a very similar layout. The rest of it is all custom and unique. I think one more 360 or in the office and the kitchen. Once again, thank you for visiting our site. Once again, you hit the like and subscribe button. We won't be upset at all.